Hi, my loves. Welcome to the Oddball Yoga. I am Belle, and I will be your yogi guide for today. Welcome to this new series, Bloom in Light of Spring. The series is curated in hope to empower you to really embrace your authentic self and allow yourself to bloom into your truest, highest self. Without further ado, let's hop right into our first practice for this series. Rooting through all four corners of both feet, come to stand in the front of the mat. Both feet hip width apart here. Before you circle both arms up towards the sky, give yourself a good stretch here. Reaching up to the sky, maybe introducing a slight back bend to open your heart if you want to. Welcoming the practice with an open heart. And next, you'll come to fold. Allowing yourself to fold towards the front of the mat here. You may grab hold onto opposite elbow and allow yourself to hang here. Bend through both knees generously, really feeling that lengthening through the lower back. As you sway front and back or to the side, noticing how your four corners, your rooting to both feet shift as you shift your weight around. So today we are really pay- paying attention to our ankles, our toes, our feet, all that help us to root our foundation essentially. So maybe come into this practice with an intention to notice these things. On your next exhale, release and breathe in as you rise up into your halfway lift lengthening through the crown before exhale come to shift both feet to point towards the corner of the mat and come to sit down into your yogi squat you may lift up through the heels you may ground through the heels if your body allows wherever you're at what matters is you puff up through the chest lengthening to your spine and feel a grounding sensation to your tailbone here. Both arms may support you by planting fingertips in front of you or placing both palms together coming to your prayer pose. Close your eyes here. Feel that grounding sensation to your tailbone. Notice how your feet is supporting you in this pose. Allow your heart to open here to lengthen through the spine. Opening through that front body. Opening through that hips. Really warming up our body to welcome this practice. Great. Exhale, release both palms to the ground. And come to open your right palm, spreading your right arm up towards the sky, introducing a gentle twist. One breath in. And exhale, come back down to center. And this time, peeling your left arm up towards the sky again. Gentle twist. Great. Exhale to release. One more round. Inhale, reaching your right arm up to the sky. And exhale, release. This time, left arm reaching up towards the sky. That's it. Next, you release both palms to the ground. Slowly lifting up through the hips. Heel toe, heel toe your way back to your forward fold here. Both feet to meet before you allow your knee to come down to the ground. Untuck all toes and come to sit on both feet. Coming to a kneeling position. Rolling your shoulders up and back, sitting tall through the spine. Take one breath in. Allow yourself this time to root your attention, to anchor your attention to the present with one breath. Great. Exhale, releasing both palms to the side. 
and this time lifting both knees up and slowly walk yourself back coming to stretch through the front of our feet that we often neglect when we're working sitting down so allow yourself to introduce a little stretch here great ask you walk yourself back coming into your tabletop position maybe wriggle to your toes before you come to stack your hip above your knees shoulders above your wrists here and now we're coming to allow our breath to guide our movement in cat cow at your own pace as you breathe in allow your belly to drop your chest to shine forward and as you breathe out allow yourself to cool up to the spine navel to spine as you exhale a few breaths on your own allowing yourself to warm up to the spine introducing space between the vertebrae of the spine here gently and this time noticing where are your four corners great coming back to center and again Rooting to our left palm as we peel our right arm up to the sky. Remember our gentle twist earlier. Great. Exhale, treading over and across towards the left side. Coming to tread our needle here. Stay here for a moment. Left arm may support or reach back towards your lower back to open up further to the front of your left shoulder. Wherever you're at, notice your hip remains stacked above both knees here. And next, you'll come back to center. Great. Find your grounding, your rooting through your right palm before you peel your left arm up to the sky this time. Gentle twist. Next, you're treading across and over towards the right side. Same thing, option to reach to your lower back with your right arm open up to your front packs or allow it to support you in this pose by rooting to the ground amazing come back up the center tucking all toes in and we're gonna come up into a downward dog as you lift your hips up and back pressing away from the ground with both palms Notice that you're pressing away from the ground between your index and thumb especially taking the pressure away from your wrists bend through the knees generously if you need to and find a grounding and rooting sensation through the heels the heels are not necessarily grounding just a sensation great on your next breath in kick your right foot back and bend to your right knee before planting your right foot in between both palms. Pivot your back foot to 90 degree, rooting through the outer corner of your left foot and all four corners of your front foot. Before you allow yourself to fan open and rise up into your warrior two. Reaching, drawing to your fingertips, reaching back, opening to your front body. Shoulders away from your ear, crown above your tailbone, front knee above front ankle. Rooting through the outer edge of your back foot. Before you straighten through your front knee and allow yourself to tilt back, reaching your front arm up and over across to the back, reverse triangle. Again, option for your left arm to reach towards your lower back here to open up to the left side of your pecs or the rest on your back thigh option is yours exhale come back to center before you shift forward and down into your triangle pose front knee is not locking here so be mindful of your front knee 
you may hover or you may reach your lower arm all the way to the ground depending on what you feel like today notice that your left shoulder is drawing back as you reach your left arm up across to the sky opening your chest to the side here great mindfully bend to the front knee and come to your extended side angle as you reach your upper arm up and across to the front or maintaining reaching up towards the sky lower arm may ground or may come to less rest your lower forearm on your front thigh wherever you're at chest remain shining to the side Great. Exhale. Release both arms to the ground. Lift to your right foot slightly and trace your right foot all the way to your left wrist. And come to sit down into your pigeon pose, flexing through that right foot to protect your front knee joint here. If you notice that your hips are not level here, option to grab a pillow or a block and place it and wedge it right beneath your right hip. Great. Making sure that you're rooting through the front of your back leg here. And once you find what feels best for you, you may stay upright if you want to further stretch to the front quads of your back leg. Or you may come to lower down to your forearm if you feel like having a deeper stretch through your front hip. Take what feels good for you. One last breath in as you slowly root to rise up and sit back to your left hip. Removing the block to the side if you have one. Allowing your right foot to meet your left inner thigh here. Coming into our revolve head to knee as we reach our left arm to the opposite hip and reaching our right arm up to the sky, lengthening through our right side body before we tilt towards our left foot. A reaching sensation to the left foot. Remember, right shoulders draw back chest shining to the side opening to the side left arm may come to support on the ground as well option is yours and next you'll come back up adjust your hips to face the back of the mat before you draw your right foot to place on the outer corner of your left hip, your left knee, wherever you're at. Hugging to your right knee with your left arm, sitting tall before you trace your right arm all the way towards the side or the back, allowing your gaze to follow to the back or to the side. For every breath in, inhale to lift and exhale the journey into the twist. Great. Exhale, release, unwind, come to face the back of the mat again and coming into a half lotus pose. So allow your right foot, this time the front of your right foot, to press into your opposite hip crease, coming to your half lotus here, flexing through the right foot, flexing through the left foot. And when you're ready, slowly crawl forward, lengthen to your spine here before you fold into your half lotus slight bend through the front knee to feel the stretch to your left hamstring to allow the stretch to extend to your lower back here allowing the stretch through your right ankle the front of your right foot as well take a moment here the ground beautiful exhale slowly rise up placing your right palm to the back 
and allow yourself to spiral, reaching the left arm towards the back as well, and come to lift your hip up into your cross-legged downward dog. Great. Feeling that stretch before you unwind and return to your downward dog. Grounding through all four corners in this pose. Take one deep, steady breath here. To recenter yourself and exhale, release. Oh, maybe letting out a sigh. Great. Next breath in, kick your left foot back. Left knee to chest before rooting your left foot in between both palms. You know where we're going, pivoting the back foot 90 degree and rise up into your warrior two. Remember your foundation here. Notice how this side may be different from the other. Rooting through the outer edge of your back foot, front knee above front ankle, shoulders away from your ear. Heart above your tailbone. Straightening through the front knee. Flip your front grip. Before you rise up, allow your front arm to reach up and across towards the back. Right arm may reach to your lower back like before to open up further through the right pecs. Option is yours. Or may rest on your back thigh. Noticing that opening through the left side body. Allowing yourself to open and savor this moment. Next, you'll come back to center before you reach forward and down into your triangle pose. If you have a block, you may allow your lower arm to reach to the block. If you don't, it's fine as well. Allow it to hover. And allow your right arm to really reach up towards the sky here, peeling your right shoulders away, peeling it back so that you can open up through the chest and allow your heart to shine to the side. Opening through that side body, right side body. Next, you'll bend mindfully to your front knee, coming to your extended side angle. Lower arm may reach the ground, may not. Option to place your lower forearm on your front thigh, if that's the case. Front arm may reach up and across to the front, or remain pointing up towards the sky. Great. Exhale, release both palms to the ground. Spiral to face the front of the mat. Before you guide this time your left foot towards your right wrist and lower your left knee towards your left wrist, coming into your pigeon pose. So again, leveling through the hips, hugging to both inner thigh, Option for a block, option for a blanket. Option is yours. Making sure that you're rooting to the front of your back leg. And slowly come to take your option to stay upright, puffing up through that chest, or come to lower your forearm all the way to the ground, depending on where you want to feel a deeper stretch or opening. Stay here, catch your breath, reunite with your breath here as you take one deep breath in. Exhale, release, placing your block to one side before sitting back to your right hip coming to our revolve head to knee here. Allowing your left foot to meet the inner thigh of your right leg. I'll turn over so you can see from the front. So once you reach your steady, your foundation here, again, reaching your left arm up to the sky and across and over towards your right foot, flexing through your right foot here. Left arm may 
be supporting you on the ground or may reach for the opposite hip crease. Rolling your right shoulders back, opening through the armpit to the right side body. Great, exhale, come back up and again, adjust yourself to shift to face the front of the mat this time. Before you guide your left foot to place on the outer corner of your right hip, your right knee. Hugging your left knee with your right arm as you trace your left arm to the side all the way maybe to the back no forcing here sitting tall through the spine allow your gaze to gaze towards the back inhale the lift to the torso exhale maybe journey slightly more into the twist wherever you're at inhale the lift and exhale the release come back to center and this time, guiding your left foot to place into the opposite hip crease here, coming to your half lotus. If that's not possible, you may just place your left foot to meet your right inner thigh, wherever you're at. Lengthen through the spine, slowly crawl forward. Once you find your edge here, bending and come to fall forward you may bend through your front knee again to really feel that lengthening through the hamstring the lower back and allowing yourself to come into this moment of stillness feeling the release through your hips your lower back and heel rise back up extend your left foot forward again this time reaching your left arm back and spiraling your right arm to meet the left coming into your downward dog facing the back of the mat cross leg feeling that stretch through the cross leg downward dog and unwind both legs coming into your downward dog taking one breath in here deep cleansing breath and exhale release allowing all tension to slide away through your back waving forward into your plank pose before lowering both knees to the ground and come to a comfortable seat we are coming into our lotus pose here so we're gonna stay option to stay in this cross-legged seat if that's what feels best for you option to guide yourself into lotus pose no forcing here if your feet prefer cross-legged seat do take it. It is your practice. Honor where your body is at. Otherwise, follow this pose. You may come to flex through both feet and guide your right foot to press into your left hip crease. Once you find steady ground here, you may slowly bend through the left knee this time, flex through the left foot. And allow your left tibia to stack above your right, guiding your left foot towards your right hip crease. Feeling a lifting sensation through the spine, a grounding through both knees, sitting tall, shoulders away from your ear. Allow yourself to close your eye here and reconnect with your breath. It's okay if one knee is not reaching the ground. It's perfectly normal. 
Come wherever you're at. Allow yourself to sit tall and breathe. Take this time to connect with your root. Connecting to yourself, your true self within you. Slowly opening your eyes and release both feet extended in front of you, wriggle to your toes, to your feet, loosen up, and whenever you're ready, moving on to the other side. So if you were stacking your right foot earlier first, this time stacking your left foot first. Allow your left foot to press into your right hip crease. Flex through both feet before you guide your right foot up the stack above your left tibia and towards your left hip crease. This side may feel different from the other side. Again, cross-legged option is always available. This time, maybe placing both palms on your knee facing up if you have been placing them facing down earlier. Option is yours. Close your eyes. Allow your shoulders to relax, sitting tall through the spine. Maybe take this moment to tap into your inner self. Rooting into your self-worth. Rooting into your power. And really rooting for yourself. Oftentimes we move along in life and there are so many opinions and judgment from other people that we lose sight of who we are and we let other people's judgment depict how we view ourselves so maybe allow yourself to drop all the opinions the judgment now and root back to your own self-worth you are the main character of your own story and only you have power to determine your own worth. You are always worthy. Allowing yourself to reconnect to that deep sense of self-worth. I believe in you. That's it for the practice for today. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you reconnected even a little bit to yourself again through the practice. I will see you in the next one and I hope you have an amazing day ahead. Namaste.